Hello everybody, this is uh, just a real quick introduction to the new features of our engine monitor. As you'll see over here, there is no more fuel gauges, there's no oil pressure, there is no oil temperature gauge. Uh, and meter over here for volts and amps are still there, but I just wanted to show you how it uh, works here on startup. So go over here, we'll power up the master switch. That will in turn get our engine monitor going. Now remember this works off of the rheostat, so right there. So if you see, if I kind of back that off to the left, the engine monitor kind of goes bye-bye. So make sure that rheostat is adjusted up. There we go. And then that makes that engine monitor come alive. All right, it's running through its all little uh, self-test. And basically, to get it going, we just have to acknowledge that we've read the instructions and whatever for safety info. So just hit that S, and then voila, you're in the uh, system. So if you'll see, it, we have zero oil pressure right now because the engine is off, and you're going to get a flashing red light. So that's going to be very normal on startup because it's saying, hey, you have zero uh, oil pressure. So that's one of the features we like about it is that oil pressure, oil temperature, anything that goes into the red or RPM or anything, cylinder head temp, whatever, it's going to give you an indication there. So to go through these different pages, if you see here, our oil pressure now is there, our oil temperature now is there, our left fuel gauge is there, our right fuel gauge is there. RPM still in the same spot, but we also still have RPM right there in the old gauge. This is just the um, hottest of the EGT CHT, so it'll always show you down here the hottest EGT and the hottest CHT. Remember, we just want to keep those CHTs below about 420 if we can on the climb by backing the power back to about 2500 RPM and doing about 100 miles per hour on the airspeed will kind of help to, to keep that down and it'll help keep the oil temperature down. But to scroll through the pages, just hit this little S button. Then now we have outside air temperature here, we have fuel flow, we have manifold pressure, um, we have volts uh, right there. Remember we also have volts there as well. But we have volts there, uh, amps there, and a percentage horsepower, which is kind of cool. So it's taking the outside air temperature and the manifold pressure and giving us a percentage uh, of horsepower. So it's pretty nice in cruise. You can kind of back it right to 75% or 65% horsepower, but um, yeah, that, that's kind of neat with having outside air temperature and manifold pressure. Hit the S button again. It'll flow you through. This is just where you can tell it how much fuel you have, so you can push this button push that button again and you can then just add or subtract fuel. This is not really that uh, necessary because it tells you on that first page how much fuel uh, you have. Um, hit S again. It's coming up with the fuel flow and, and total, but this is all that you entered. So this could be zero. This is all user defined. This is not the actual fuel gauges. Hit S again, and then we're back here at the start page of the uh, fuel gauge left, fuel gauge right. And these are sensors, so this is the actual fuel uh, in the airplane. But obviously, uh, definitely, you know, uh, check uh, in pre-flight how much fuel you have to back those numbers up. But see, it's a pretty neat little system. Again, just keep hitting S until this is kind of where I fly at because you got oil pressure, oil temperature fuel flow. I kind of like in cruise to come here and see the horsepower and kind of set percentage horsepower. Remember the only time we would get a hundred percent horsepower would be standard temperature and at sea level. So standard temperature, standard pressure. So two nine or nine or nine or two at sea level, fifteen degrees Celsius at full power, we would get 100% horsepower at full throttle of 160 horsepower. Or 100, yeah, 160 horsepower. We'd see 100% at sea level and standard temperature, but as we know, it's hardly ever that, right? 
so anyways, just that's a real quick introduction to the new features of our engine monitor. Again, fuel gauges are gone, oil pressure, oil temperature is gone, hop's still there, um, the um, ammeter is still there, but remember that can be seen right there. So volts and amps are right there. You can see I'm pulling from the battery there um, with the uh, amperage draw. Um, other than that, that's it.